in a powerful statement against the Taliban's oppressive regime. Afghanistan will field a gender equal team at the Paris Olympics. The International Olympic Committee's decision sends a clear message about gender equality and the resilience of Afghan women. Despite severe restrictions on women's rights under the Taliban rule, these athletes represent hope and determination. IOC has also said that no representative of the de facto authorities will be accredited to the 2024 Olympic Games. In a largely symbolic move, Afghanistan will field a gender equal team at the Paris Olympics comprising three women and three men. This decision by the International Olympic Committee sends a powerful message to Afghanistan and the world about gender equality and the possibilities for Afghan women under Taliban rule. The, the clear uh, idea is that we want to get Afghan uh, athletes and a gender-based team in Paris because of the, of, of the demonstration that gives to the world uh, at home and in, in Afghanistan, but also to the rest of the world. So it's really, um, it's really, it really been an important thing for us. And that continues in that relationship with the NOC that we recognise um, continues. Despite the Taliban claims of respecting women's rights with their interpretation of Islamic law, their actions tell a different story. Since their return to power, Girls' high schools have been closed, women face travel restrictions without a male guardian and their access to parks and gyms has been severely limited. The International Olympic Committee has been in talks with the Afghan sports authorities to reverse these restrictions. Due to which, the international body has said that no Taliban official will be accredited for the Games, ensuring that the focus remains on the athletes and their extraordinary journeys. To be clear, no representative of the de facto authorities, the Taliban government, will be accredited for the Olympic Games 2024. Afghanistan's male athletes will compete in athletics, swimming and judo, while the women will participate in athletics and cycling. This gender equal representation at the Olympics stands in stark contrast to the gender-based violence and restrictions that women face in Afghanistan. The team will be composed of six athletes, three men competing in athletics, swimming and judo, three women competing in athletics and cycling. 21-year-old Maniza Talash, a refugee from Afghanistan, is breaking new ground as a pioneering B-girl. This summer, Talash will be among the first athletes to compete in breaking, also known as break dancing, when it debuts at the Paris Olympics. This competitive form of dance blends artistry and acrobatics, a combination that embodies Talash's journey of resilience and hope. In her native Afghanistan, Talash found insurmountable odds. As the only woman in a 56-member breaking crew in Kabul, she received death threats and faced constant opposition. The situation worsened in 2021 when the Taliban took control, outlawing music and dancing as un-Islamic and barring most women and girls from education. Si yo estuve en Afganistán, no, no vive, porque los talibanes no le gustan este deporte que estoy haciendo. Y es muy peligroso para mí y para mi familia. Pero estoy aquí que hago, no que tengo miedo. Faced with an impossible choice, Talash decided to leave Afghanistan, spending a year in Pakistan before being granted refugee status in Spain. With the help of friends and the refugee Olympic team, Talash secured her spot in Paris. For the chicas who are in Afghanistan, it's very difficult to do all of these things. For example, to leave the house or to study because they can't do anything. But 
Yo estoy feliz que estoy aquí y ahora quiero hacer algo para mis eh, personas que están en Afganistán, mis chicas, mis amigas. Entonces, eh, es muy difícil, pero yo quiero hacer, no quiero solo decir. The Paris Olympics will showcase the incredible talents of Manisha Talash and her fellow Afghan athletes standing as a powerful statement against oppression and for the rights of women and girls. Their participation in these games highlight the enduring human spirit and the global quest for justice and equality, demonstrating that even in the face of adversity, hope and resilience can prevail.